Hey there, this is Dolphin, and if something smells fishy, it is this video, because uh, I will show you how to make fishing a rewarding experience, how to do it swiftly, the fishing process itself, and uh, preparations and stuff. Um, so in the beginning it will be slow, and that's why you should uh, use everything you have at your disposal. Just uh, get a bug net, catch all bait that you find that crosses your path. You know, like uh, destroy little rocks in the grass with, with your pickaxe and pick up the worms. Worms are quite good. Um, getting bait, that's a whole different topic. Make the most out of the bait and out of your fishing power. Um, you might get various potions as rewards, but you need a good start, so you don't need a crate potion, and crafting that requires amber, which is very uh, quite rare. But um, the fishing potion requires crisp honey, so you just combine lava and honey into crisp honey blocks. So that should be easy enough, and if you got the alchemy table, you can save on resources furthermore. You find the alchemy table in the dungeon. And um, <clears throat> very important, the sonar potion. So, because it shows you what you're about to catch, that means sonar potion extremely uh, increases the efficiency of your bait, whatever you have, even if it's crappy bait and quickly used. So, um, craft that and you only need corals for that. Visit both, both oceans and clean the ocean floor of corals and you should have enough for one or even two stacks of sonar potion. And always use that. And um, then when you get your quest, like jungle surface, tropical bar barracuda, okay. Um, the first time you go to a certain region where you want to fish, prepare a proper fishing place, and I will explain that in a, in a moment. One thing you can do, especially when you are farming for uh, fish finder mats for your cell phone and want to get that quickly, and for the achievements, you would want to power through. So what you do is you create several characters, super easy, quickly, more quickly than creating a world, so just a bunch of characters, I have 20. And all they have to do is take a quest fish out of a chest and turn it in at the NPC, at the, at the angler. Um, that way you can multiply the efficiency of your journey. Well, I will go to uh, a fishing place and explain more there. So, I've already been here, that's why I'm prepared. Um, here you see, um, bring the materials that you need, carry them around in your safe or something, um, to set this up. Sunflower and dirt blocks and a stuff of regrowth to make uh, grass where you can plant the sunflower on. And a peace candle made. You uh, kill Pinky, the rare slime, and get the pink gel and make a use that with torches to make pink torches and add gold or platinum bars and make a peace candle. So you have a double reduction of spawn rates. It's all also good at a fishing place if you are not ha don't have to fight on two fronts. Get a wall behind you and let your minions do some work if necessary. Of course that is very convenient. And uh, if you got a piggy bank, uh, bring some more platforms so you can put the piggy bank on. I got the money trough, so that's easier. And you need space for your safe. So get the best fishing rod available. So I plant my safe. I, you get these things, um, the golden fishing rod and the uh, uh, angler clothes at a certain turn in. So that is nothing you could get surprisingly quickly if you turn in with several characters. You will have several of those in the end. So always, you know, one thing that is, I'd say, especially in the beginning, you know, use all the equipment that you have. But one thing I advise is don't pay too much attention on the time of the day. It's difficult to, to manage that time, stuff might uh, come, you know, special events or stuff, or timing is difficult, you can drive yourself nuts if you always try to get the time of the day with the great fish, just, you know, fish through. 
as I said, I mean, it is uh, in the beginning difficult to catch even one quest fish, in the end it goes very quickly. So I equipped the gear and now high test fishing line so it doesn't break. Tackle box so that bait lasts longer and fishing skill increase. And um, the bait here, <laughs> 174 master bait and the last time I did a fishing run caught 20 quest fish and I didn't use one single bait. And so here's another thing you do. So, oh yeah, here, as I said, I will use uh, sonar potions this time. So usually I have one of this, two of this, eight minutes, four minutes, and two great potions, or three. I got tons of those. Later you, you get them from fishing crests, but it's really uh, easy, really useful if you craft these two uh, before you even begin to fish. Okay, so take this for fishing skill increase and this so that you see uh, what you're catching and the crates if you can afford it uh, crates you can get bait from crates too if you open them or use them for decoration so now you're buffed geared with everything you have and the golden fishing rod now depending on your equipment this is easier or a bit more complicated but generally I use my drill mount for this if you are, I see a water body and it's not uh, deep enough I will just quickly expand it and then I will use my uh, I got these nice things this is uh, one of the most desirable items you get uh, too from fishing bottomless water bucket and super absorbent sponge so I get my bottomless, lo uh, bottomless water bucket and just fill up almost to the brim so that the distance between you and the water surface is very very uh, small so that's all prepped this water body is great you get a penalty if it's less than 300 blocks taking the water surface and down like this without obstacles this doesn't count here so like this area so make that at least 300 otherwise it's not worth it it's easier to quickly expand this and if you don't have this just carry a 99er stack of water filled buckets with you easy okay yeah golden golden bucket net is also very useful you just run across grass swinging that and you can catch grasshoppers and if you have the quick flower boots you run across the glass and plant flowers and you can harvest them with this and run back and forth on your mount if you want on a quick mount and uh, I, I've got an older video where, where I showed that. And then you got plenty of uh, low quality um, bait. Okay, so now to the fishing technique. You got the sonar potion. That means you know whether what your catch is worth uh, keeping or not. And even most blue items are not. Okay, so I will set this up because quest fish, you can only have one in your inventory. So you have to put it away if you want to catch more than one. Now you throw and you, you got to get a feeling of it. Make it a short distance throw, not all the way there. It's much quicker if you throw it directly in front of you, which would look like this. Okay, and as soon as something bites and you uh, read it, if it is something you want, of course, you just click two times, you know, reel in and throw out again. If it's not something you want, you cancel and immediately rethrow. That way, you won't even trigger the chance to uh, waste to consume bait. So we, you will switch to another slot. I will use one and two. You just make a one-two. I will show you how that looks. One-two, rethrow. Re one-two, rethrow. One-two, rethrow. One, you see, 171 fishing power. First caught, and I will put this back to Tropical Barracuda. That's my inventory is free, I can catch more. And you see, in every each cancelled throw will save you. Uh, no, I don't need that either. It's just bombs. Each cancelled throw will save you bait. See, second one. This is the full gear, how quickly it can work. Continue this just a moment so that you get a feel for how fun and rewarding it can be. 
132. Early morning is uh, gone, so fishing power is lower. The double card should be quite frequently. One, two, one in seven chance, the uh, Gamepedia says. But that's a peculiar fish. I want it for ammo reservation potion, but it's very rare. I don't know, maybe because the loot table is swamped with my uh, crest fish. And you see how. And imagine all those white fish, if you caught those. How, how much you would uh, use up your bait. And you see, I still got my bait. Another store. Another. You see how quickly this can go on. If you have, I mean, it's insane, but if you have 20 characters and use all of them for turning, then. Uh, we get so much stuff and potions then. I mean, as I said, the mats for crafting them are there. Just saves you some time because I've got the whole chest full of nothing but fishing potions. The master bait is the really valuable stuff. And you should combine combine that with the uh, all the gear that saves it. As you see, random number generator has certain moods. But sometimes you get a few quest fish in a row. Always aim a little shorter, like half length of the... Well, you'll figure it out. It's just a matter of getting the feeling. Okay, you get the idea. I'll uh, end the video here. Now you, if you do this this style, you know, set up fishing place everywhere and get there quickly and all that and get the best fishing rod and stuff. And as I said, the uh, two or three potions, the sauna and the fishing. And then it should be more fun, you know, then it's not super tedious. And like, if you have 10 characters, that's enough for the beginning, I would say. Then you, you uh, put these in a crate next to your spawn point and every character you log in you grab that fish and turn it in and, and you get more stuff it's a little more rewarding otherwise you're here and once you catch your first fish and maybe your potions are still running you know you still have that fishing power and then you head home that's almost uh, that's a bit unsatisfying yeah okay so i hope this helped you leave comments or quest if you have questions ask and uh, like subscribe favorite support me please if this uh, if this helped you it means a lot uh, to me to get referrals okay then i will see you in the next video and enjoy your fishing trips bye